Now this illustration deals with a split bus panel board. Now this particular panel board is no longer outlined in the code, so sometimes you may wonder uh, why did Stalkup include this in uh, the design book? Because there are installations, existing installations, where you're going to find a split bus panel board. And say that you were upgrading as the designer or electrician uh, this service, and you had a split bus panel board. If you install a main ahead of it, then it can remain. But if you do not have a main ahead of it, and you're changing the service, then the inspector uh, with the state, county, or city will usually require this panel board to be replaced. But let's review what we have here. The panel board itself, we have six mains in the top portion. We would have maybe, uh, notice there's two to six mains there. And we may have five mains feeding equipment and so forth, with one main shown feeding a lighting and appliance panel board below. And these uh, panels have been many times way overloaded. Uh, we would overload that bottom uh, portion of the panel board. Uh, and uh, in 1981 NEC, that, uh, that particular NEC addition prohibited the installation of a split bus panel board without a main ahead of it. Uh, but today, uh, you don't see split bus panel boards anymore because you can tell if you're not a very intelligent electrician that knows the code well and knows how to design the service conductors based upon the load, this panel board can be easily overloaded. So it is no longer in the code, but if it's existing, you could still use it if you put a main ahead of it. I read the code to say you could still even use it as long as you had room to add a, a breaker in, in the panel board and it's existing. But if you had to update the service in any way, upgrade it, uh, then it would need to be changed out if you didn't put a, uh, a main ahead of it. And I can tell you for sure that most state inspectors, county inspectors, or city inspectors with the authority uh, having jurisdiction per 90.4, of the NEC will require to be replaced under the conditions that I've just mentioned. And this figure 7-16 illustrates that this uh, particular panel board is no longer outlined in the code in 408.36.